who he is. He's made a podcast about himself, for Christ's sake. You can learn everything <laughs> about him. Do you know what I mean? Um, you can learn everything about him. The reason why Mrs. D made this video was because Cocker shit put out that she couldn't, like people were obviously, um, that nobody would find out who she was, that nobody will ever realize who she is. She'll be unfindable. Nobody will know who she is. So that is why Mrs. D has probably made that video because by her own omission, Cocker Crap has said, nobody will ever find me. Nobody will ever do this. Nobody will ever do that. Well, ha, ha to you. But to be because fair, because he did find you. Yeah, this is insanity, and I'll tell you why it's insanity. Yeah, do you want know, to do the same same thing over and over again? Yeah, and then expect a different result, right? You knew what you were getting into when you done what you done to Evil Queen. You knew what she's like. I mean, if anyone's had experience with Evil Queen, you and Miss Red have. So let, let's just put that straight right now. Now, if it was me, I wouldn't care less because I wouldn't be asked to go looking for you to find you. You know what I mean? Whereas Evil Queen, you know what she's like. So when you dox her, you also know what Little Prince Brat's like as well. You can't trust him because if he falls out of you, he spills all your secrets. He's done it many a time. So you all knew what you were getting yourselves into when you done what you did, yeah. And now you want to cry because you got the result that you knew you were going to get. It's insane, insane. It is insane. I know. It is insane for you to put out to a place like TikTok, like come on, guys, TikTok, where everybody would dox their mother if they could. Let's face it. It is insane for you to then put out that narrative that nobody will find out who you are. You are untraceable, but you're basically untouchable. And for you to then think that people will not go to great lengths, because let's face it, there's some absolute creeps and wrongings on this app, will not go then to great lengths to dox you and to find out who you are. I'm that is insanity. I might be out of the loop, but I don't really watch Pin Prince Brat unless like something's going on or whatever. So, did he? Well, I don't understand why he, he's only just told Evil Queen about that. Did he not get on with Evil Queen before or something? So, Prince Brat and Evil Queen thing was a thing. I don't know the whole of it either, guys. So just keep us right in the comments. So the Prince Brat and Evil Queen thing. Why Cockapoo gave him that address? was because I EQ... That, I know why they done that, but what I'm saying is, apparently this was historical, it happened months ago, yeah? So, yeah. Are, are Prince Brat and Evil Queen friends, or, or are they not? Yeah, so I think um, Red accused Prince Brat, thank you, um, Emma, MRG, um, Red accused him of doxing Red to M's. So Red accused Prince Brat, oh, yeah, yeah, so this was it, yeah, so... Basically, um, Red accused him of doxing her address and all this to Ames because Prince Pratt had Red's address because he made a cup and he was going to make a couple of t-shirts for Red and Pearl that Luke had ordered through That's Prince like, Pratt. Yeah. And Ames was and So he was. then obviously had Red's address. So obviously when Ames came in and said, oh, I've got your details, Donna, blah, 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 was doxing her or whatever because they obviously hate each other. Um, it was then Red said, well, you must have got it from Prince Brat because he has my address. Uh, That's when Luke came up and said, yeah, I gave him my address because I ordered a cup and a couple of T-shirts. Um, so because M started it by saying she was going to dox Red yeah, and then okay. Red assumed it was Brat. And then wow. Brat was like, no, I've actually got Evil Queen's details because um, I was given them by... I don't know if he said red or if he said cockapoo straight away or if cockapoo had to admit that he gave her the details. No, but you know what, right, and I don't like Ems, mate. I think she's an absolute... I'm not going to say it because I'll get banana right? But at the same time, right, Miss Red's whole content is Alpha Bar, Ems, yeah. CLA. She has persecuted Ems for about two and a half years, right? And she's played a fucking blinder here. I'll be so real. She She's lied caused a shitstorm and then sat back and watched everyone going at each other no, knowing damn well, right? Now Evil Queen's Doc's cockapoo, Miss Red's crying and Ems is just sitting back rubbing her hands together, laughing her head off. Do you know what? Fucking good for Ems, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Girl, but hats off for this one. Well done. <laughs> exactly, my love. Like, what did they expect? You are not normal. Do you know what? Like, Another thing as well, right? See me, yeah. Like, even if.
my address or anything was put out there, I wouldn't be laying in bed panicking on TikTok crying and all that. Do you know why? Because I haven't got enemies like that. I haven't done bad things to people like that where they want to yeah. come out and get... Why do you panic so much about when people say they're going to dox you? Why, why are you so scared? And I'll tell you why, Donna, because of how much shit you've done to people and how many people don't like you and want to get you back. That That's what that is, you know what I mean? If you haven't done nothing wrong, you've got nothing to be worried about. Who cares? Everyone knows where Angie lives. Do people go to her house? No. Everyone Everyone knew where Evil Queen lived for years. Did anyone go to her house? No. You know what I mean? Well, apart from Elsa Frost. <laughs> we know how that ended that up. Beast, that's what I'm trying to say. See, her Donna has pissed that many people off, yeah? Well, she doesn't let you say anything. She blocks you. So you can't say nothing. She knows she's got loads of enemies that would be loving to get that address. And she's panicking. That's what it is. Because she can say what she wants. And then when you, you want to speak, she'll block you. You know what I mean? That, that's what it is, isn't it? You know what I mean? She knows that. <laughs> So one of the, I, I'm serious, Lily, yeah, I'm absolutely serious. I'm serious enough for myself, otherwise I wouldn't say it. I, yeah, know. what's happening? And Lily Lou's, what's, who's serious about what? Please tell me you're a red supporter. You're more than welcome to come up and tell us why. Yeah, please do. I'd love to know. Yeah, please do come up, Lily Lou's, if you've got... If you want to tell us about ourselves, that would be amazing. Because I'm really in the mood for it today, to be fair. Right, what is she saying? Uh, Melanie Sunshine. Does it make it right for people to seek out her address, though? What about the people that she sent it to, Melanie? Did it make it right for her to try and dox Rebecca that's sitting in this box right next to me, who has three children and has been through a serious case of DV, that she had to actually show her face online and put her children in danger because of what Miss Red did to her. She also doxed someone who she thought was uh, Rebecca, who also Lily went Lose. through DV. Can you watch your language in here, please? Thank you. This is a 13 plus app. We don't swear. Thank you very much. Okay, Lily Lose. No, that's fine, guys. Don't mute her or anything. Do you want to come up into the box and tell us this file stuff that has came out of our mouths? Or are you just going to be a comment warrior? Please do. Make me aware of the vile stuff that's came out my mouth. Because Bougie, I'll say it again. B I T C H. <laughs> All thinking it's okay to dox someone different if it was yours or your family. Um, I don't think it's okay to dox anyone. So, can you please take that energy that you've got and take it back to Donna, Cockerpoo, etc., as well, who have also doxed people? That would be amazing. Come on then, Lily Lou's, we're waiting. You can anybody can get in this box as well. If um anybody bougie bitch, you want to get in here? Anybody, Lily Lou's? Don't just be a comment warrior. Let's hear it. I want to hear it all. Please do. Melanie Sunshine, I don't believe it's right for anyone to seek or share personal info. Melanie Sunshine, can I just tell you about what Cocker Poo did to a woman that was mentally, severely mentally unwell, who was also in and out of a mental health institution that Cocker Poo knew about, and you're trying to come in here um, and you're trying to preach to us about people should be doxing people's information what cocker poo did with that lisa marie's information is she sought out family that she knew was against lisa marie she shared court documentation she shared things about her children to members of that family that she lisa marie who was severely mentally ill that had been on live shn who had banged her head off of walls that was a very mentally unwell woman she decided to hold a live with those members of her family and basically try and ruin that poor girl that girl could have ended up unalived due to what cocker poo had done to her so don't you preach to me about what the fuck you think is right about anyone to seek or share personal info exactly and obviously miss red docks me well try to she also docks someone that wasn't even me put her in danger so like i said none of us care it is what it is isn't it what well, goes around comes around she tried to dox evil queen yeah saying do what you want with that address and then evil queen's doxed her you can't do things to people and then expect people not to do it back it just it's just sad that obviously cockapoo has gone through what she's going through right now and it just so happens to have happened now you know what i mean that that's the only wrong time that's right thing wrong time that's all 
Guys, if you didn't hear tap up, pay your rent, um, Lily Luz, you backed a woman who was lying. Tell me who that woman was, please. Yeah, no, and that's fine, Melanie Sunshine, but don't come in and try to preach to us about what's right or wrong. We know what's right and wrong. If anybody on this app knows who's right and wrong, it's the people in this room, believe me. And we're calling them all out. I don't agree with any of them. I hate them all. And they can all destroy each other for all I give a fuck. Um, but as I said, don't come in and preach to us. Exactly, Jordan. At the end of the day, it comes to something, yeah, where your friend has been doxxed, but you're sitting on the app crying about it like you're the victim, like it happened to you. It's exactly. Fucking... And also, anybody that's in here touching themselves about Miss Red, Tiny Tony, Tony Official, Miss Red gave him a bunch of addresses to dox as well, as well as Fact Freak. Yeah, Sorry, well, I'm the comments, guys. Yeah, I'll keep going on mute because I'm just cleaning up that. Um, and people are saying, oh, it comes to some of it, when did it? Listen, some people are tit for tat, and that's just how it is. That's the way the world works. They haven't matured like that yet. I mean, listen, don't have done what she done to me. I didn't go and dox her and all that, try and find out who cocked her. That's not, like, I don't agree with that either. Because at the you end of it, why do people on TikTok need other people yeah. on TikTok's address? They don't, you know what I mean? I'm going to come and watch you in two minutes, okay? She knew what she was doing when she involved herself with Evil Queen and Prince Brat and gave him the address. She knew what Evil Queen would do. She knows what she's about. They've had plenty of run-ins with her before and they've been around long enough to know what she's like. So they should have known that it was going to happen, you know what I mean? People go low, Evil Queen will always go lower. And that's just how she is, isn't it? Exactly. This is what I'm saying. This would be so much easier, to be fair, yeah. If anybody has all these opinions, please come into the box. We're not going to shout and scream at you. Unless you really piss me off, then I will. Um, <laughs> but this is the thing, guys. So, like, don't come in here and preach to us. We know each side is just equally as wrong. We know, like, me and Rebecca don't support EQ. We don't support um, Cocker Poo. We don't support Red. We don't support any of them. I'll be so real. As far as I'm Mary, I'll be so real. I don't support anyone on this app because they're no, all out no. for themselves they're all yeah. out for their own gain no no one's your friend on this app. obviously you are but we're not creators like that you know what i mean we speak off app and all that. that's different yeah. to me i speak to me friends these big creators aren't nothing to me i don't look up to them and none of that like i, I think they're all dickheads i'll be so real like there's not one person on this app. sorry i like tyrone tyrone's all right Who well else? you do actually like tyrone that's it, Tyrone, yeah, just Tyrone, Tyrone sound, that's it. Oh, I like Big Jam and I like No Face as well, actually. That, 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 that's it, they're the only people that I like. Oh, and Zavi's oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I don't like No Face, nah, he annoys me. <laughs> I like No Face, and I like Zavi yeah. as well, but that's about it. They're the only people that, um, that I actually think I actually rate on here, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, 100%, this is what I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, they can all fucking destroy each other. I don't give two fucks. They, them all destroying each other, doing what they're doing, saves us a job. Do you know what I mean? Um, TikTok shop. I love TikTok shop. Do you just want to buy from TikTok shop? Please. Everybody come and buy from TikTok shop. I know. I'm, um, I'm going to drop down because I need to do the tea and I need to throw my hoover around because I've been at work all day. I need to put a wash on. But I will be listening and uh, I love you all loads and I'll see you all. No problems, my love. I'll speak soon. Love ya. Bye. <laughs> See you later, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Um, exactly, Lisa Kelly. Like, a lot of people are, like, on here for, like, their guilty pleasure and that as well. Um, exactly. Evil Queen is just as bad. They, they all deserve what's coming to them. But what I can't stand is the fact that you've got people in Red's account up there licking her butthole when she is probably one of the worst, if not the worst, on this app. And all the people that sit around her are also the worst. So the whole point is what I'm trying to say, guys, is that don't, um, none of you have a moral leg to stand on. Not one of yous. You are all absolutely disgusting, toxic, vile creatures who could not deserve more of what's coming to yous. And as um, Rebecca says, why are they so afraid of being doxxed? Because they've wronged so many people. At the end of the day, if my address was doxxed, come to my home. Come to my home. See what happens. Like, do you know what I mean? 
We don't have people like that. Exactly, Lottie. They've all proved they don't have morals and it's karma for that. And this is the thing though, like, what is it? I'm, um, what's it called? Red is profiting off the back of her friend who's just announced their illness. Exactly, Delaney. This is the thing as well. How much has Red made today? About £400. And she's sitting there back battling with Dave Duran's while they talk about Cockerpoo and her illness. What kind of friend is that? I'm not being funny, right? If that was me and Rebecca had came on and was sitting talking about my, like my illness with Charlie or someone, I don't know, battling Charlie, I would find that severely offensive. Like, that is so fucking offensive. Like, if you're talking about stuff like that, why wouldn't you, um, why wouldn't you, like, turn your gifts or something off? Would you not turn your gifts or that off? Are you happy just to sit and discuss your, your friend's diagnosis with Dave Durant, who doesn't know her from frickin' Adam? This is what I'm saying. She is the worst. You are the worst, Red. You are the worst of the worst. And this is the thing as well. Like, they harp on, so... Sorry, guys, if you're just sitting listening to me harp on, but you know you can scroll away at any time. Um, this is the other thing as well. If they're such good friends, like they claim to be, as Cockapoo put it this morning, they are a clique, they're good friends. They wouldn't throw each other under the bus. They wouldn't do naughty things to each other. They wouldn't um, do this or that to each other. Your friend is sitting here profiting from what is basically happening to you, for, from your life being exposed on an app. Your friend is sitting battling. She's been on about two or three times today. How often does Red usually come online, guys? Once in the morning for her shitty FYP show. Am I correct? How many times has she been online today? So far, I've seen about three. Has she ever had her gifts off once? Did she even have her gifts off when um, Cockerpoo was in the box explaining her illness and her situation? She then fires up alive with Dave Durans, who I'm guessing clearly because he's plain stupid and doesn't know what was going on. Um, he apparently didn't know what was going on, so Red was explaining to him what was going on. She then fired up alive to battle with Dave Durans, who is not obviously friends or in that clique that they have or whatever the fuck they call it. Um, discussing Cockerpoo's situation, um, like her health situation, and they basic they were battling for money. They were battling for money. Now, to me, if that was one of my friends, like I'm good friends with like Jordan, like Baby A, um, Rebecca, like Mrs Moon, all those sort of things, all those sort of people. If I had went to, say Rebecca, just because your name popped up there, Rebecca. Um, if I had went to Rebecca, Lady J, yes, Lady J. Um, if I had went to Rebecca and said, I've got this diagnosis, or if I said to her online in a live, I've got this diagnosis, I've got a hospital appointment, this is my diagnosis. What I would not then expect Rebecca to do is spark up two or three lives throughout the day, have, say, Lady J in the box, and them to be battling while they're discussing my diagnosis and what I'm going through and the fact that my life has just now been exposed everywhere online. That is sick. Like, people are literally cashing, cashing in on cancer. That's what you're doing here, Miss Red. You're cashing in on your friend's cancer diagnosis. That is sick as fuck. And you knew before today. Exactly, Angela. It's so embarrassing. Exactly, Rachel. People haven't looked at it like that. But that is basically what you're doing. Like, how is that normal? How is that normal to do that?
do you know what I mean? You're cashing in on your friend's diagnosis. You're monetizing your friend. Rather than maybe being offline, um, speaking to her or chatting to her or going actually doing something with your life or trying to help her. If my friends are going through something that I know on here and that I speak to offline, I go to them offline uh, if they're going through something or if I've had the privilege of them telling me things that they're going through um, that they're maybe struggling with that obviously I don't feel is an online thing, then I will go to them in private and I will speak to them. I'll call them. What I won't do is sit here in a fucking box then get someone else up here in that box, start battling so I can make 400 or 500 quid from my friend's misery. But that's what Red did. And this is what Red thinks. This is, Red actually thinks she has the moral high ground on this. This is your morality. Seriously? Well done, Red. You have once again shown yourself for the absolute trashy, toxic, money-grabbing bitch that you are. You are a friend of no one. So all your little minions that go around licking you out, TikTok shop, TikTok shop, TikTok shop, I like TikTok shop. Do you like TikTok shop? We all like TikTok shop. All your little minions that go around TikTok shop being up your butt, thinking that you're their friends. I'm telling you now, Miss J, Cocker Crap, Alex Big Ham, um, Luke the Puke, MT, Miss Red gives two shiny ones about any of yous. Miss Red is out for Miss Red and the money that she can make on this app and the 5,000 followers she has. She couldn't even come off this app after her own daughter was bloody. After her own daughter was doxxed, she couldn't even come off this app. After your own family were being doxxed on this app, you couldn't even come off. You couldn't delete your account off. You couldn't delete your account off. You couldn't delete your account off. This is the morality of that woman. You would rather still be on this app, putting your grandchild at risk, putting your family at risk that aren't on here, that don't want to be a part of this. You would happily put them all at risk for a few hundred quid and a few hundred followers. Fuck you, Miss Red. Fuck you. Absolutely fuck you to the ground, mate. Sorry, guys, but it's just like, get a grip. And you want to come for somebody else? TikTok shop. I like TikTok shop. I like TikTok shop. Do you like TikTok shop? I like buying and selling on TikTok shop. Exactly, Steve. She's got to pay for that Chinese somehow. And this is the thing, though. Like, you want to come for somebody else. You want to come for our Mrs. D because she made a video about your friend who's a piece of shit anyway. And you're trying to come for her fucking models. Mrs. Doubtfire has got more models in her pinky toe than you have in the whole, in your whole friendship group. Nah, mate. Nah. Angela, but why should she come off the app? I don't know if you know or not. Um, I don't know if you know or not, Angela, but myself personally, if my family, who didn't want any um, interaction on this app, anything to do with this app, oh, of course, I've just got a violation. Um, oh, wait, I'm going to come back, guys, yeah, because they'll be reporting to hell. Two seconds, I'm going to come back and I'll answer your question. Remember what your question is though, Angela, because 
I'll totally forget. <laughs> I'm going to come back, but I'm going to go and light up a cigarette.